Welcome back everyone. In this lecture we're going to be discussing about bags, stacks and queues. Um, you guys might have learned about uh, basic data structures in your other courses. Nevertheless, um, I just uh, would like to go over on, on these concepts, very simple, very basic concepts once again. So let's see uh, a bag. What bag is? Well, simply put it, it's a collection of objects. Okay? Like a bag, you put different objects in your bag. In the same way, we can define or we can design a data structure which can contain different kinds of items in it. Okay? With the one uh, restriction that uh, the items can only be added, not removed, and then the clients can um, process those items in any order. For example, let's say initially you have two rings in your bag, blue and black, and you do a add operation and add another ring of orange color. Okay. Another operation on add, add another ring of light blue color. Okay. So different colors of rings. Well, these are rings, but you can uh, accumulate all sorts of different objects. So it's, you may think of uh, a container having a different varieties of objects in an unordered manner, unsorted manner. And that's the basic concept behind a bag. Like in your bag, you have notebook, you have computer, you have, um, you have your cell phone, you have your money, you know, cash, in the same way different kinds of objects and then clients can process uh, those different kinds of objects. So that's a basic concept uh, behind the bag data structure. Okay, it may be useful, may not be useful in real life, but just a concept to remember. You might use that uh, data structure in, in, your, uh, in your life in designing algorithms if you need to. Great. Next is the queue. Good. So as you can see, queue, um, you go to bus stop, uh, you are in a queue. Okay. So what is the uh, basic fundamental idea uh, behind the queue? Is that the person, okay, at, let's say queue at the bus stop. So the person who comes first will enter in the bus first. And the person who comes late will enter in the bus late. Let's say Harry, you know, is, uh, you know, late. So he comes late, you're going to enter late. Or in other words, new arrival at the end. Okay. And Hannah, you know, very sincere girl, she's going to leave first the queue. All right. So that's a very simple concept. Um, first in, first out. Queues are found in real-world applications. Um, plenty of applications uh, around you, you can find queues. Bus is just one example. Or let's say uh, you're developing a website uh, for, uh, for a service website, okay? Where uh, the first person comes, gonna be served first. Other person gonna be waiting in the queue. Or let's say uh, when when there is uh, the the track is not available for landing for the aircrafts, so aircraft circle around in a queue in the air. Another example. So plenty of examples you can think of. Very simple data structure. Another very important data structure is a stack. So you might have heard the stacks in your real life. What essentially is the stack? Well, think about think about a jar, okay, or a box, okay. And now you're gonna put some disks in a jar. So you're gonna push a disk, let's say light blue color disk, and then you're gonna push another disk, and it has only one uh, one end through where you can push or you can pop. You can remove the disk. Let's say you're gonna put another disk. Okay, so you pushed all the three disks in that jar. 
now how to take it out since there is uh, the other end uh, there is this other end is blocked or you can take it out from the end you only can take it out from from the end from where you have pushed the item in this jar okay let's say you want to take out the uh, you want to take out the disk blue disk so first you have to take it off the black disk then orange disk and then finally in the end the blue disk in terminology we call it this pop operation so first pop operation will give you the black disk second pop operation will give you the orange disk and so on so the stack is uh, in other words you can think of last in first out kind of data structure it has uh, varieties of uses first and foremost use is in compiler design okay um, how the compiler processes the for example your your writing uh, an equation okay a is equal to b plus c okay and then you are putting parenthesis and then you are multiplying it the whole thing with the 20 okay and you have written this statement so first of all your parenthesis should match otherwise the equation will not be right and then the order ordering of the operations okay so what what com compiler going to do i mean when the uh, preprocessor going to process this equation it going to put every element onto a stack until or unless this parenthesis is matches so for example this parenthesis this will go to the stack let's say we have this stack here so first parenthesis goes to the stack okay then becomes b goes to the stack then c goes to the stack and now let's say you got the right parenthesis now you can evaluate this whole thing so you can pop pop this out and these both parenthesis matches here okay so since this is matches you know you can take it out b plus c you can store this result b plus c Let's say you have stored this result here b plus c and then you continue processing forward you put uh, whatever symbol is coming here multiplication symbol and you put it 20 okay until this symbol uh, or the semicolon is found and then you say okay now compiler will understand this is the end now what's going to happen it will multiply 20 with b plus c now if it is 3 okay and c is 4 so what's going to happen in the first pass here what the compiler going to do i'm just rewriting this thing here uh, with the numbers okay so in the very first pass left braces then three then four then the right braces okay and now since the right braces come these are on a stack so since the right brace came in the equation was we gonna what's gonna happen okay let's take it out now there is a variant that you can keep on doing it until you find this uh, semicolon or you can evaluate right away as soon as you find the right brace so you evaluate this whole expression that okay you found the uh, matching parenthesis okay this matches with this and sorry there was another thing three plus so plus also also will go here okay so let's do it again original stack would look like left parenthesis 
3 plus sign goes to the stack, then 4, okay, goes to the stack, and then the right parenthesis. Now it's complete, so we can evaluate 4 plus 3, 7, okay, and now we keep on going forward. That next symbol is multiplication sign, next is 20, and and finally semicolon sign. So now we got the semicolon which is the end. So what's going to happen? We can evaluate 20 multiplied by 7 and pop out all elements and put the result finally. Okay. So that's one example where uh, your compiler make use of a stack. There are other applications where uh, in matrix, matrix multiplication you may use a stack or um, other uh, applications you may think of. So stacks, queues, these are important data structures to learn. Alright guys, uh, thank you very much for this short lecture on this, uh, this concept of a stack and queues. Hope you're enjoying lectures uh, at Lee Professor YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing and uh, Google Plusing the Professor channel. And uh, we appreciate your feedback and support. Uh, if you need uh, any more lectures, any help, uh, you can contact us for private lessons. Hope to see you again. Uh, have a wonderful day.